Well, we knew this was coming, so let's go ahead and take care of it. Remember when I said they were dead on the rails, those SD45s? Well, that wasn't all. After cleaning the wheel sets, naturally, a number of them, their axles are split. Pretty bad, too. In fact, one of them completely split apart. So here's the thing. What are we going to do about that? Well, there ain't much we can do. We have to fix it. Um, there's... I don't want to go cannibalize something to get these out of it. But at the same time, we have another problem. During this contest, these are tested for operation. And they must be operational. Now, if it was just working on my layout, a failure is easily pulled off the layout and repaired and put back on. But in the contest, you get one shot to make it work. So we better do a good job on these then. Because these are the ones that are gonna have to we're gonna have to use them. So using our scientific methods, we've got here some super glue. We got here some baking soda. So let's go ahead. Who's next? Let's do an easy one next. We'll save the hardest one for last after we're warmed up good. All right. So let's take them off. Now, when I put these back on, I need to do another fix. I'm going to, I'm probably going to drill a little hole into the side here because and I have heard every excuse under the sun why these axles are like this and I am not buying most of them because my own experiments have shown me that if you look at axles of a generation older they always had a notch in them what do you think that notch was for? Well, when you squeeze these wheels on here, as I have shown, when I because I use white glue, the white glue will come out anywhere there is a crack. Not only that, if you put the white glue on and the axe is perfect, sometimes you can't get it in the gauge you're creating pressure and actually over time that pressure splits these things that and the combination of that horrible grease we saw which uh, did this number right over here and and the other one so let's go ahead get a little super glue on our jacto knife and we're just going to carefully Get that on there. See if we force a little bit down in there. Then let's go ahead and hold it just right. Take a little bit of baking soda. Try not to get it into the point so we don't have to file it out. Okay, and then let's touch the end. Give it a squeeze, see if we can if any glue comes out. I think we're looking okay. We're gonna take our calpers, we're gonna get a good measurement, then we're gonna find a drill bit that matches. And we will re-drill this hole here. Go to the next side. 
soup glue. Now I'm not going to go down through the middle on this one because I don't want to reshape these. And I don't think I need to. I want to get on there. I want to force it in the end. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a squeeze. Not too hard, just a little bit. Now touch the end. And if I did it right, which it looks like I did, Okay, we're going to have to do a lot of testing on these to, for the purpose of making sure that they do not fail at just the wrong time. All right, so we've pretty much shown that we know how to do that part, the easy ones. What about this hard one? So, this guy, first let's get him lined up right. Let's figure out which way he lines up. Okay, it lines up like that. All right. Let me get a tweezers here and then I'll hold them so you can see. Let's get another tweezers. Use that one to put them on. Okay. So. Go ahead. Yep. Totally apart. Okay. <sighs> Pliers. Got them. Get them on the other side. There just simply isn't time to buy a new set and get it here. Any time to use it. Uh, did we get a match? Let's squeeze it and find out. I'm going to say that we did it. Looks pretty good. All right. All right. That's how it is. Now I'll just measure up that and get a drill index. I'll drill it out. We'll see it again when we go ahead and put the trucks together. And I'll say, remember when we did these? Yep. That's a danger of using that one lubricant that we don't like. Alright, it's time to get back to business.